Hello everybody, Expert Fusion here for a video where I'm going to be talking about what I want in Advanced Warfare very badly, and it looks like we are having it, which is a good thing. But in the background, you are seeing some a double swarm on the map Nuketown, which is for the Nuketown 24-7 thing, where Nuketown is you know, the only map you can play in like a certain playlist, and I really like that playlist because I love Nuketown a lot. And I was able to get this double swarm, and the reason why this gameplay has to do a lot with the videos, because what we're talking about today is that I want not only Advanced Warfare, but every Call of Duty to be fast-paced. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops 2 is like the slowest, like a freaking turtle to like a fucking cheetah. I'm telling you. Mono for three. I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show you a little bit of Mono for three gameplay. It's so slow. You can't do jack shit, and it's really it gets boring. And I don't like one Call of Duty like that. And I'm hoping the rest of the Call of Duties from now on till the end of Call of Duty, which I doubt is gonna happen, but for like the rest of Call of Duty, I want it to be fast paced. I want it to be as fast paced as Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two is the most fast paced by by far of Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare looks fast paced, which is gr good, but. Think about it, after that. Are they gonna? This is this gonna still be as fast paced as Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare probably will be. We don't know. I mean, I am a big fan of fast paced games. I like it when it's nice and fast. I hate those games where you get like 10 kills and it's just like, oh, that was boring. I love those games like in Black Ops 2. Like in this game here, I got 71 kills. To me, that's a that's a big accomplishment. And 71 kills, it was really really hard to get. You don't even know. It's just like. In Ghosts, being able to get 71 kills, or even in Mono for 3, being able to get 71 kills, I don't think is possible, like, in a game. Unless it's, like, a really, like, ground war domination, that's a completely different story. But, like, to getting Moabs in, like, any game mode is just not easy. Like, it's easier for me to get nuclears and to get big kill streaks in Black Ops 2 because it's so fast-paced. I think the reason why it's so fast-paced is because of the whole thing with, uh, with, uh, um, you dying so quick, not, with you not dying as quickly as you do in Ghosts, because when you die quicker, I feel like it does make it slower paced, and also the spawns have a thing to do with it, and the bigger maps also have a thing to do with it, but being able to die less quickly, like in Black Ops 2, makes it so it's so much faster paced, because instead of you dying right when you get to the other team's spawn, you could stay in the spawn for a while and break up some kills, and maybe if you die, you die, that's what happens, but... That's why I feel like Black Ops 2 is a lot easier to do good in, and that's why Ghosts... Well, no, Ghosts is easy to do good in, but, like, Black Ops 2 takes a lot more skill, and it takes a ten times more skill because of the health being so much, you know, higher, and it takes so many more shots to kill, and that makes it a little bit more, you know, skill. You have to take, you have to have skill to be good at this game. Mono for 3 and Ghosts, it's just whoever gets the first bullet into the other guy's chest is basically going to get the kill. It's pretty much like that. And I don't like that at all. I want it to be all about skill. Someone's shooting you, you can jump up, you could drop shot, you could get to cover before they finish you off. Now that's a completely different story because the reason why Ghosts, you died so quickly is because everybody wanted for, uh, what's it called, for Ghosts to be more realistic. But making it more realistic so you die as quickly as you do made it a a piece of shit game because you died so quickly and it really made it really made it slow paced and really made it just a boring game and there's so many problems with ghosts because of that that just may, being able to die really quickly is definitely the, one of the biggest problems and you might not think that's a problem a lot of people like it like that because you know you hate it like you're like oh I shot 10 bullets in that guy's chest and he didn't die like what the fuck well in ghosts it's the other way around you're like I, I, he shot one bullet into me and I died, like, what the fuck? Like, in real life, you get one bullet into you, it's a good chance you're gonna die. So obviously it's a lot more realistic in Ghosts, but it's a video game. Why do you want it to be realistic, though, when I think about it? Like, it, it shouldn't be realistic. It should be a video game, it should be fun, it should be interesting. It doesn't have to be realistic whatsoever, because you're already living the real life. Why do you need to be realistic? So, all I'm saying, the only point about this video is that I want it to be a fast-paced game, and by making it a fast-paced game, the health has to be higher, and it can't be as easy to kill people as it is in Ghosts and Modern Warfare 3, and they have to make it, the maps, I mean, I want big maps, but when they're big maps, make it so it's not 6v6, make like 12v12, or even 24v24, if they can do that eventually, and also make the spawns work out a little bit more, so you're not spawning next to their team, but you're also not spawning miles away from them, so you never get any kills, which can be really sucky. 
make more uh, game modes that make people not want to camp, like, uh, Uplink looks like a very good game mode since it doesn't look like anybody's going to want to camp in Uplink because you're not really, like, uh, what's it called? It's not, it's not really the type of a campy game mode, which I, I like that. I like that a lot about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It looks like it's a fast-paced game, especially with all the exobility movements. Damn, it looks like it's going to be crazy as hell. So there you guys have it. That is my outlook on Call of Duty, Call of Duty Future from now. Every Call of Duty, how I want it. Basically, the way that I want it to be fast-paced, and I don't want it to be like Ghosts or Infinity Ward did a bad job of making it fast-paced. Treyarch did a bad job in the past at making it fast-paced, but now in Black Ops 2, they did a magnificent job. The, the best, most fast-paced Call of Duties, Call of Duty 4 was pretty fast-paced. Mono for 2 was pretty fast-paced. Black Ops 1, not really, but in a way, Black Ops 2, yes. Ghosts was more fast-paced than Mono for 3. I'll admit that. But it's still not fast paced enough. Only on like the really small maps like uh Showtime and Strike Zone and you know, all those good maps and Unearthed. You know all the good maps is it's fast paced, but then when you play on like Stonehaven and Stormfront, you're like, What the fuck is with this game? <laughs> um, but there you guys have it. I will see you guys in my next video. I should be getting my scuff soon. Hopefully I'm hope hoping tomorrow. I don't know if it's gonna be coming when it's going to be coming. It's being a bitch. Scuff takes so long to come, but I'll make a video on that right when it comes. Hopefully it's tomorrow. Hopefully it's in the next few days. So I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. The following is to show you guys how much better Call of Duty is when it's fast-paced than when it's slow-paced. Enjoy.